What is up? In this video, we're going to be looking at the new procedural psych wall generator that it just got added to set designer. So here we are in Redshift and it's all loaded up with some kind of interesting lighting going on. And I'll break down how this works so that you can go pre-visualize your next psych wall shoot. So I'm going to hit pause on that and I'm going to hit control tab, which I don't know if you guys knew that. That makes this uh, full screen, which is pretty nice to have here. And we will see our new psych wall object. So this is the new psych wall generator. It's a pretty simple object and it's going to generate a two wall psych for you. You can change the width of the psych and you'll see that it's written on the UI down here, how wide it is. And you can change its depth. So these are the two ways of changing the size of the psych. You can also enter them in Imperial if you'd like. You could say 30 feet by something like 40 feet and it will do the conversion for you. But because we're working in 3D, we want to be working in metric. You can also change the height, of course, up here, up and down. And for Imperial, we could say it's something like 14 feet, and it'll do the conversion. And the last thing we can change here as far as dimensions is the radius of the actual psych wall. We have it from anywhere from 10 centimeters to 100. And that's basically the size of most psych walls that are out there. And in Redshift here, to change the material, you can go over here and create a new material. You can then open it up and say we want to make this a green screen, we would click this and we would make it like that. Turn off the reflection. You select your psych wall generator again and you're going to click and drag your new material into that link slot. And now it's green. And you can change the material of the psych wall by changing it right there. It's a little bit different in physical, but let's do a quick little demo while we're here. I'm going to go back to my, my view for Redshift that has our preview render. And I actually don't like this. I'm going to go back to uh, I'm going to go back to the gray material. So this is a gray psych now. This is not white. And let's turn off all of the lights for now. I'm going to turn off all the sky panels to off. And let's hit play. I'm going to let this load up. So this is the default lighting right now. There's no lighting happening on this little psych wall. And let's turn on our breezy. So that is where's the breezy? That's this, right? So let's turn on the breezy here. Turn it on. And we have a pretty well exposed scene here. And when you shoot with a single light like this against a gray psych, you're going to get something that looks like this. Very, very fashiony, actually. The only reason this doesn't look like a high end fashion ad is because it's a 3D scan of me and not a model. So that looks pretty nice here. And if we wanted it to be, say, a white psych shoot, we would take all of these, these included. And I would make sure that they're going to be putting out white light and not colored light. And then we would turn them on. And I would probably boost them all up to about 300. Except for this one. What's, where is that one? This, is the, this one's actually hitting me. I'm going to pull that one off. But yeah, something like this would get us in the world of a white psych. And we could turn our breezy back on. Oh, the breezy is on. So we're going to go uh, take these and maybe crank them up to like 500. Again, these are not based on the real world um, at the moment, but you could keep adding these and you would get uh, a nice like a nice looking white psych eventually. But you can do something that's even more fun than a white psych. So I'm going to turn them off like that and I'm going to turn off the breezy as well. So let's turn off the breezy. Uh, let's do some HSI colored lighting with LEDs because this is this is a lot more fun than making white psych. So we're going to take this sky panel. Where are you? This one right here. We're going to take this sky panel that is going to be my key light. And let's turn it on. So there's our one sky panel S20 kicking at us. And let's change its color to something a little bit more fun. Let's go to something a little bit blue like that. Okay. And I'm going to copy that color. And this actual HSI value here, you could plug that directly into the sky panel. I'm going to take this sky panel, which is the one in the corner, and I'm going to paste that color into this and turn it on as well. So now we have a, a blue on blue scene here. And I think the sky panel in the background is a bit bright. So I'm going to go to 200. And because we're using a gray psych, we're actually able to get darker tones out of the psych wall. than then if we were using a white psych, it's possible with white psych, it's just a little bit harder to control everything. And I'm going to take these two these two sky panels on the sides here, we're going to turn those on. And right now they're white. And we're going to turn down the brightness. And I'm going to turn them to pink. Pinkish purple, like that. And if we zoom back into like an actual shot, we're looking at something that's pretty cool. A little bit, little bit hotline bling. So 
If you are familiar with shooting with Gray Sykes and using HSI LEDs, you can now pre-visualize very accurately what that's going to look like. Show this to the director and very quickly you can be like, well, what if we want to do orange on the sides instead? Instantly, we are in a different color scheme. You can present this to the director. And this overall is pretty accurate as far as the colors. Now for the brightness and the photometrics, we haven't dialed those in correctly yet, but you're still going to be able to come up with some pretty good looks. So that is our really quick look at the Psych Generator 2 wall here. Again, you can change the dimensions, you can do depth, you can do height, you can change this, and you can change the color. And hopefully this makes your life a little bit easier when you're doing these psych walls. So you can go measure a real world psych wall, enter those numbers into this, and you're ready to go. The rendering is a little bit funny at the transition points, and that's because it's a procedural object, but I think it's going to be okay for previs. If you want to have it be beautiful, then you should probably model it the old school way, but this is going to be a hell of a lot faster. Let me know if you have any questions about using this. We have one for physical and we have one for redshift and we'll eventually make one for octane as well. It's pretty much, pretty much the same thing. Until next time, I'll see you guys on the next video.